Hey folks, good morning, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope that everything is going smoothly in your last week of school before our finals and ACPs next week. Now, obviously this is a pretty stressful time of year, both in school and out of school. I don't know if you guys are feeling this or felt it over the Thanksgiving break. Sometimes winter breaks and Thanksgiving breaks and long periods of time at home can be very fun and relaxing. Sometimes, depending on your home situation, it might be kind of stressful, especially around the holidays, family drama and all this kind of stuff that has the potential to happen during this time. So between the stresses of life and the stresses of school, I wanted us to take a moment today to talk about mindfulness. And there are maybe a couple of different definitions for mindfulness. A video that you're going to watch today defines it as the ability to know what's happening in your head without getting carried away by it. A lot of the times with big emotional situations, when we're tired or when things are going wrong or whatever it is, we feel swept up in the negative emotions. We feel so angry or we feel so stricken with grief or sad that we feel like this is all that there is, is this sadness or this anger or whatever it is. It can also happen with positive emotions. Maybe you feel so strongly about a person that you fall head over heels in love with them and you're not mindful about like whether or not it's a good decision to be with that person. So mindfulness basically takes whatever strong emotions you're having and helps you understand them without getting taken away by them. The first video that you're going to watch kind of gives a couple of examples in that definition of mindfulness with a couple of fun animations. And it's also going to talk about how mindfulness is a part of your well-being and healthcare, just like taking medicine or eating healthy. And then the second video is actually going to start midway through this video, so don't freak out. It's just going to be the last five or six minutes. And he's going to talk a little bit about mindfulness as well, and hopefully give you a couple more relevant examples to help you understand. And then after that, we are going to actually practice a mindful minute. It's just one minute, and I'm going to ask that you Focus in on this mindful minute and follow these instructions by putting your phones face down or away, taking your earbuds out, getting as comfortable as you can in your seat, and then following the short instructions on this video right here to just practice being mindful for one minute. After that, there'll be a short discussion for you guys to think about mindfulness and how to incorporate it into your daily life and think about what it actually means. And I hope this information is helpful to you. I hope you're able to take something from it that it's very important for us to just take a moment sometimes, slow our brains down, take a minute to be silent, to do nothing, and let our brains recharge and reset. Even if it's just small, simple things, there's ways to incorporate moments of meditation or moments of mindfulness, especially in times where emotions run high. That's all from me. Enjoy those videos and that activity. Be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you real soon.